Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, and we got Jeremy Ford over here. He's my son, and we're going to do an eggnog review. Um, uh, this was started by Edgar Rios, one of my subscribers. He brought up the idea of the eggnog, so we've been doing a lot of the different eggnogs that we can find out there. Plus, Jeremy and I are, are great fans of eggnog. We've loved it all of our lives. And... Uh, we, we claim to be professionals at reviewing the eggnog because we, we've tried a few different kinds. We never paid any attention that much um, until just recently. But uh, So here we got <clears throat> Southern Comfort Traditional Eggnog. Southern Comfort Whiskey um, is what this is from, this name here. Um, <clears throat> got a little story back here. In 1874, M.W. Heron took harsh whiskeys of the time of the time and mixed them with his own blend of fruit and spices to create a whiskey that could be enjoyed comfortably. Since then, Southern Comfort has been spreading the soulful and vibrant spirit of New Orleans. Southern Comfort traditional eggnog is as unique and delicious as its namesake. A creamy and rich premium eggnog. Perfect and rich perfect when served chilled in a splash of Southern Comfort. Um, you can, in the preparation to do, to do Southern Comfort and eggnog, you can mix one quart of eggnog with one cup of Southern Comfort, pour in glass, and garnish with a cinnamon stick. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. I've heard other, other ways of doing, doing, you know, eggnog with, you know, liquor. Um, we haven't got to that point of doing that kind of stuff yet. Um, we're just doing regular eggnogs right now, but I always welcome different ideas and different recipes that you guys got or heard or tried that works that you guys like, you know, I'm going to try to write them down. Um, John Martin, one of my other um, subscribers gave me another recipe that was good, wrote it down. Um, let's see, <clears throat> ultra pasteurized, non-alcoholic ingredients is milk. Cream, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, corn syrup, egg yolks, natural and artificial flavors, spice, fat, fat-free milk, guar gum, car carrageenan, mono and diglycerides, annatto and turmeric, um, color, salt and dust sodium phosphate, contains milk and eggs. Got a couple little different things in there. Um, Shake well, keep refrigerated, do not freeze, grade A. All right. Well, right now, uh, Brahms is in the lead with Jeremy and I. We both like Brahms brand. We're looking for the one that can beat Brahms. Um, so let's see what Southern Comfort gives us here. A little bit difficult to smell out of the carton, but hmm, I'm seeing some spices in there. That's always a good sign. The eggnog kind of has a more of an eggy kind of appearance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like they blended it with the yolks, maybe a little bit. Yeah, there's little black specks in there, which indicates we've got some, some cinnamon or some, some nutmeg or something like that going on in there. Um, how's that consistency look, Jeremy? Or the density, you call it? Very light. Kind of light? A little thin? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got on. Let's, let's mm -hmm. smell it first. I'm getting, this might be it's kind of more of like a cinnamon type smell. A little bit. Are you getting a mintiness? Kind of a little bit of a, kind of a minty aroma? Maybe a little bit. I'm getting that, you know those little green Andes mints? They're chocolate and they have a little white layer in the middle. 
They're just like, mm. they look like little candy bars, but they're little mints. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're mm -hmm. wrapped in like aluminum green foil. Yeah. And getting you getting that aroma a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. That might be, where did I see that? I don't know what carrageenan is. Um, it might be more of the annatto type thing. All right, well, let's see if we get that mintiness on the taste. Hmm. Big time nutmeg. Hmm. Cinnamony. Getting that mintiness lightly on the taste, not as big as it was on the aroma to me. Mm. Um, you know, it kind of looked thin on this, but it kind of feels thick in the mouth, doesn't it? That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's got a thick density just to the drink. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, so we're getting that light mint. We're getting cinnamon, nutmeg type mm -hmm. on the taste a lot. A little bit of, van a little bit of vanilla. Um, tastes pretty good. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Um, what, what do you think? Is it like real, like real close to the, right, real close to behind? How am I saying that? The Brahms? Just it's a, it's a close second. It's a close second. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking so too. Very good. Good quality eggnog. I can see it being good with a little a little bit of Southern Comfort whiskey in there. You don't know about that yet. But. All right. Well, thank you to all my my new subscribers and to my loyal old subscribers. I appreciate it. Everybody hanging in there with me. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll end it there. I think we're about set up again. Mm -hmm. Try this one. If you can find this one. Southern Comfort Traditional Eggnog. Ultra pasteurized. Non-alcoholic. Good stuff. Um... <clears throat> There's the, in that white square, there's that little recipe if you want to pause it there and write it down. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.